Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with a tutorial for Lila Ann Beads. Um, if you'll remember, I got a really cool package from them and uh, it included this beautiful strand and this fun designer mix. Um, we're going to make a pair of earrings and um, a bracelet today. So I pulled out of my stash these crystals that look really good with this and for some reason the colors are looking a little washed out in my camera so um, they're a little bit more vibrant than you're seeing and I have some crystal rondelle spacers. Um, I got this bubble bead in Tucson and now that I'm seeing it there's like a crack in it. I think it'll be okay, but I was thinking about making that the button and then using some white leather as the closure on the other side to tie in the white here. So um, I have some beetle on bead stringing wire and some crimp beads. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just plan out my bracelet. everything off just to see what I have. Goldie is getting restless. We've been up here for a long time. Um, but I have a lot of ideas and I might as well video them while I got them, right? So I know I for sure want to use these two purple beads. Um, oh, this one's pretty cool with uh, that flower on it. So do I have two of those? Yes. And then I want to get pink in there. We'll get that pink in there. And then I for sure want to get in some of these crystals. It was between pink and purple, but I thought, you know, let's go with pink. We're heading into Valentine's Day and then Easter, so pink goes really well with both of those. So it's purple, I guess, but we're heading purple. The purple I had was a little muted. And then um, we have our Crystal Rondell spacers, I think. I'm gonna go with that size. It seems to be the size I have the most of. This one's a little deformed. And um, I am going to start with a crystal. Actually, a couple crystals. And I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how it goes. crystal on. I wanted to put on another bead. You know, I'm not, I'm not liking that already. I don't like that. It's just too, hmm, everything's like this, like the, something's, something's off. <laughs> so that's why we test these. I do like those two together. I guess it's the Crystal Rondell spacers I don't like, but I do want some metal in there. So maybe we'll go with some bead caps instead of the Crystal Rondell spacers. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about these. I kind of swallow the, the bead, but I like how much silver there is. So let's see. Uh, no, it, I like how it encapsulates the bead, but I really don't want how this, it's fighting with the bead for, for dominance. It's too much, too much silver. And try the other direction with the tiny ones. Oh, I do like that. It's a little bit sweeter, less in your face. <laughs> very cute. I'm loving this. It's very petite, very feminine, I should say, not petite, and very just refreshing. It's super cute.
cute little pattern and the focus is on the lila and beads which is what i really wanted everything else is just um, accenting that so i'm going to keep going i love it it's super cute um, I also want to I kind of want to get some white beads in there, but Now that I'm thinking about it. I think it might shock the bracelet too much if I just do solid white beads Okay, I am going to put one more. I think I'll put a spacer in between Crystal on this side There we go, uh, I'm gonna crimp onto my bead that we're using as a button. So I'll put my crimp tube on. This is a soft flex crimp tube. And then I will slide on my button, come back through. And I wanna leave some wiggle room so this button's not like being choked. And then I am going to go ahead and crimp and turn 90 degrees and crimp again and then squish. All right, I'm gonna feed a couple of these beads through these, or some couple, this wire through a couple beads. Snip off the excess wire. Move everything down. All right, and then I have another crimp. Gonna crimp onto this ring. I think this is metal plated acrylic, but it's very strong. So um, I am going to come through one of these loops. I'm not gonna go all the way through. I'm just gonna come through one of the loops come back down through my crimp tube, making sure that my beads are all the way down to the other end, but curved, so I'm not doing it in a straight line. And I'm gonna come down through one of my beads just to get some leverage and pull. Okay. And while I'm making sure this is tight, I'm also making sure that it's curved so it's not gonna be a straight line. Say it with me, Lucy Goosey. Uh, <laughs> that's how I want the bracelet to be while I'm crimping. And then I'll put, move that to my crimp, um, my largest valley in the crimping pliers and squish. And then we'll move it 90 degrees and squish again. And squish one more time. And I'm gonna take my nippers and cut off that wire. I need new flush cutters. I say it every video. There we go. And then I am just going to take my um, leather. I have this purple, but I think I'm gonna stick with the white because I like the white on the bracelet. Oh, this is this is kind of pearly, but it works. It works. So I'm going to take the length. I am not doing a barrel knot this time. Um, you absolutely can, but I am not going to. All right, I'm going to slide it through. Go like this. Okay. So we have our knot grabbed onto our little ring. I am going to measure my bead or my button or whatever you want to call it between my two pieces of leather, making sure that it can slide through, but it, that it's not going to be too large that it slips back out. And then we're going to make another knot right here. Oh, way too big. So we'll walk it down a little bit. It's a little thick. This leather is a little thick to be doing this type of knot, but one that you can do that probably would be 
better for this bracelet is a barrel knot. However, like I said, I'm not going to do that. It's funny. When I was in Tucson, I saw Kelly from Kelly's Bee Boutique. <laughs> I said, Kelly, I could do barrel knots, but I tell everybody to go to your channel to learn how to do them. And she was laughing. Oh, it was fun seeing her. I was a little starstruck. <laughs> She knew who I was. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's a little too big. I'm just worried that that's going to fly out of there. Um, just, I mean, a hair smaller here. I gave Beetle on feedback um gs hypos event but they um told me that <clears throat> they don't obviously they don't make the gs hypo cement they have beading cement but um or beading glue that's similar but they um liked hearing the the feedback and they're gonna look into it so um i'm gonna go ahead and take my glue and kind of dab it in there you can use a an eye pin or something to get it all up in there but i'm just gonna glue it like that I am going to put a knot on the end of here we don't need to um, glue this little knot that's purely decorative I just got my finger right in the glue So what you can also do is, I think maybe we should hang a little charm on this ring to give it a little bit more oomph. I have, um, I think maybe a heart. I have this big one from Tierra Cast. Which I think would be cute. But I also have these smaller ones. No, I like the bigger one. I'm gonna grab a jump ring. You might need a little bit bigger jump ring. And there we go. I love this. I love it. We've got so many different artisan beads on it and um, the the sweetness really comes from these beautiful Lila Ann beads. I'm gonna take off the bracelet I'm wearing and put this one on. And it's a little long, so I would probably just shorten my um, leather a little bit, not the, the beaded part. But this is a great stacking bracelet. Um, I picked up the rest of the leather here. <laughs> but I love it. I love how everything comes together. And although it looks spring summery, I feel like I could wear this all year round and perfect for upcoming Valentine's Day. Um, we are going to make a pair of earrings really quickly from that mix that I told you about um, that was in the first video. I pulled the, the earrings aren't really going to match this um, bracelet, but that's okay because I'm going to gift them to somebody. Um, these are gonna what I'm calling like cupcake dream earrings because they just look like they're from a dream. They're so cute. I'm grabbing this bead and then this bead that's kind of like a un it looks like unicorn cloud bead or something with the uh, Aurora Borealis on it. I got these bead caps from um, in a swap from Ashley. Oh my gosh, that was probably in 2020 because I haven't done one of those in a long time. Um, and then I have a ball head pin and an ear wire. And I'm just gonna put the um, little bead caps on either side of my well, what I'm calling cupcake bead because it just reminds me of a cupcake. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and wire wrap that into a dangle. There we go.
and then I am just going to stick this eye pin through the middle of my beaded bead do a simple loop and then attach that simple loop to my beaded drop. And open my ear wire like we would a jump ring and slide that on. And I know this is just a two bead earring, but I think it's so cute with, um, it just looks like cupcakes falling from the clouds. And there's our pair. So stinking cute. I think they did a really great job with those beads. So um, these are a gift. I'm keeping this one. Um, let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out Lila and Beads. I'll leave affiliate links in the description to um, the items I used today. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Stay tuned for Gold Dishy Super Cute. Bye-bye.